Hi, I'm Heinbach. Good to have you back. As some of you might know, I love micro cassette dictaphones. I enjoy the texture that you can get when you record with these. I love that usually they have half speed, which is of course the best speed. And I like that they are small and they are one function only and they're very easy to use. So when Lavender Sweep Records approached me and asked if I want to release an album in the micro cassette format, I couldn't say no. And now I have a tiny micro cassette album. It is called Old Sounds. And it is rather special, not only because of this lovely tiny format, also because it was made with you. Lavender Sweep had only one condition. The album had to be two times 30 minutes because that's the length of one of these tapes and you can't get them cut to fit. That's a lot of music as I usually prefer shorter albums, 38, 35 to 42 minutes, basically the length of a good vinyl record. So I had the idea of creating a collage, make it like an installation, use all the techniques I've shown on my channel, mini disc loops, uh, tape loops, cutting up tape, pitching down stuff, and all that in one big installation piece. So I made a call on Patreon and the subreddit for you to send me sounds for set A, they had to be in A minor and 12 seconds, and for set B, they had to be in B flat major, and also 12 seconds or if they're noise or non-pitched that's fine also and then i got a whole bunch of beautiful and interesting sounds from you Listening back to all these sounds, I realized that my original idea was flawed because I heard so many different beautiful things in each of the sound bites and I wanted to give them more expression than would have been possible if I just lumped it all in one big installation. So I decided against the two pieces of 30 minutes and I used each little sound as the seed for a whole track, combining sometimes sounds, adding stuff, filtering, but trying to keep it minimal. With that in mind, I packed up a small set of instruments consisting of the Electron Digitect, the OP1 and the tape looper and the mini disc, and took that all on holiday to Greece with me.
as you can see, I kept the process usually very minimal and in the moment, preferring one takes over extensive digital editing. But I did some of that too. So here's an older version of me that will tell you more about that. Thank you, future me. The editing that I did in Ableton Live for this album wasn't extensive, but I felt it was always important. For example, on the second track that I made, I was lacking mid-range information and something to carry the listener emotionally. So I added in a beautiful bell piano by Chris Petra. feel this gives the track the emotional resonance that it needed. On the third track that I made, I felt the main melody from the LP1 could use a little rooting in the natural acoustic space, so I added in a guitar sound from preamp band. There was one song that I became so armored with, I used it a bunch of times. It's a beautiful overtone trombone sound sent by Espacht. It sounds like this. Well, it does sound like this after being run through Valhalla space. I use it on a few tracks to give them more impact, more of a cinematic edge, instead of just the mid-range sounds that I get from the instruments that I use. last track of the album, I used the Inertia Sound Granulizer to process the Bamboo Flute Sound by Kalmus. This is a really beautiful plugin, which I enjoy for its ease of making granular synthesis listenable. And I simply dragged the sound in here, adjusted some settings, made them less washy than it standardly is, and I enjoyed the result a lot. <laughs> For EQ, I used the internal Ableton EQ, and for space, I used the holy trinity of Valhalla effects. The Valhalla Room, the Valhalla Plate, and the Valhalla Übermod. All of which plugins that I've used a long time, and I simply love their interface and their sound. Now there's one thing I still need to do to finish this album, and that is record a bassline to the track The Light That Broke the Night, because I wanted to have more impact and sound fuller. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Now 
now that all the tracks are recorded, I have to do the sequencing, meaning put the tracks in a running order. Since this is a microcassette release, I've got 30 minutes per side. So I need to create two arcs of tension. Therefore, I'm going to put everything into the video line client to arrange the playlists. I know only one thing. I want to have Modern Gods as the last track of this album. So maybe I start with the side two. So 10, and that means 20 minutes for this side. So I've done a bit of arranging, I've come up with a preliminary set list and I'm going to listen to that for a bunch of times and then I'm going to master it. I've already put it into Ableton and adjusted all the crossings, which is a detail work that I love doing because the way your album transcends from one track to another is very important if you want people to listen to the full album and enjoy it. So I'm going to listen to this and then I'll be back. So I've listened to the track order and I like it. I also fell asleep to it, which is always a good sign. So now I've arranged everything in Ableton Live, as you can see here. And now I'm going to apply a little bit of EQing, match the volumes, and then I'm going to export it. This is also an ambient album, so I'm not gonna go crazy on the limiting. I'm just gonna try to make all the tracks flow regarding loudness and not care too much about overall loudness. After all, you've got a volume knob. And also, I don't want to record too hot on the microcassette because that might overdrive this rather overdriven medium more. So my go-to for loudness has been the Vox and Go Elephant. And I'm gonna put two instances of this on the master bus. And I'm gonna set them to flowing and not three, 1.7 is fine. And the second one, I'm going to set second one, come, second one, I'm going to set to ultra smooth, also 1.7 reduction, 1.6 is fine, and that will be my overall loudness for this. And I'm using the Klangham Varimu, which I really enjoy as a compressor because it has some of that manly Varimu sound. So this is the Klanghelm MJUC compressor. And I always just use the punchy mix bus preset, which I then tweak in regards to attack and makeup. I turn on the automatic gain correction because that makes my life easier. Let's start with the loudest track. <laughs> I just want this to be active a tiny bit, taking off peaks of one decibel. There's a bit of harshness that I want to get rid of, so I'm using the regular equalizer, which has been fine since the last update, like when it came to version 9, I think. <laughs> That's that resonance taken care of. I really approach this as a technical thing and because I've mixed this already, so now I'm just trying to find if there's anything that uh, pierces my ears, especially since I recorded this all on headphones and not that great ones. <laughs> I'm doing this so fast because I know now how this stuff translates. And here I know that the bass will sound boomy because it's very much resonant with many speakers. So I just cut a bit of that, but the rest sounds good. It's one of the typical TCM 450 Sony, which is a dictaphone that I use, sounds. And I know how that works and will translate. Done. I'm going to export all of that and then it's back to future me. The album artwork was again done by Nani Gutierrez, who has done a few artworks and videos for me and accompanies me on my live shows as a visual artist. You can buy the microcassette on Lavender 3 Brackets and the digital on Bandcamp and in a few weeks I'll upload it to iTunes and Spotify too. If you buy the microcassette you will of course also get a digital download. But of course the heads will listen to it only on microcassette.
and at half speed. experience I think to listen to this on my cassette. <laughs> it's truly not an acoustically great forward. In fact it's probably the worst except for maybe flexi disc. But it's cute. <laughs> I want to thank everybody who sent me in sounds. Without you this would have been impossible because I recorded this album just over the course of 10 days spent on holiday. Don't record an album on holiday. It kind of messes up your work-life balance. All these sounds were very inspiring to me and helped me create so easily. And it didn't feel as alone as I, or probably you, if you do music, feel when you're sitting in front of the piano or in front of your instrument and try to conjure up something out of the air. So. Thank you all very much. This has been a lovely process. So that's it for this video. Have a listen to the album and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments or the subreddit. See you in the next one. Bye.